Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have here today in my shop new customer. It's a 2009 Toyota Tacoma two-wheel drive. This one is two-wheel drive V6 engine, one GRFE and has 229,000 miles. The engine cover is off because I'm doing detail inspection. It's the cover just sitting here. I already checked a lot of stuff on it and you will be surprised how in good shape and good driving condition it is. I'm just kidding, you won't be surprised. We know they are like that, they last forever, correct? It was maintained somehow, some things show lack of maintenance. The oil engine oil is way due, I didn't see the tranny fluid yet. On the contrary, the spark plug number one, which is underneath there, was pretty new. It was correct then, so pretty new. Muff sensor only slightly dirty, just on one side of the wire. It was done by the dealer, you immediately recognize the dealer filter. What I want to bring up here, it's that moisture underneath this filler cap. I made video on the same engine, same taco, it might have been even 2009. It was the new owner who had it like months. He brought it for detail inspection and that was that crazy milkshake underneath that filler cap. So let me show you this one and continue on the story. I kind of let you hanging there because I finished the video. I filmed that and I said, hey, you tell me what do you think it is. You tell me what do you think this milkshake is. Is it blown head gasket or is it just moisture underneath that filler cap? This is the highest point of the engine. All the oil and vapors and everything is coming towards to this spot. So I said, you tell me. I described all the details. I said, it's end of the winter. We are in spring. It was a lot of changes in the temperature. It was rainy. Simply a lot of nasty weather. And most of you correctly said, hey, that engine doesn't have a blown head gasket because we also discussed that on the dipstick there wasn't any milkshake. We looked on the coolant, there wasn't any milkshake. So most of you said, hey, it's just the moisture. It's maybe unfortunate, but it's not something which should heavily alarm the owner. And of course I agree with you, you were right, this is time of the year also, it might be specific to certain engine. This is, we said, 1G RFE, correct? It's a legendary, I will say, V6 engine, the Toyota band, that, that timing belt on the 3.4 liter and they created this 4 liter with a timing chain. This one, what we said, 229. 224,000 miles and it still runs like a champ absolutely no problem with stretch timing chain or whatever let's go look on the, another vehicles if actually we have the same moisture all over here in California where is this hood prop <sighs> So look at this, 2005 Ford 5.4 liter V8, it's also being driven in the same environment, look at this. Shall I not have purchased or actually my wife have purchased this vehicle, do you see what I see? The same story, will you? back out out of this purchase if you open it no you already explained it and you are right it's a time of the year 
this is what's happening all over just don't freak out keep it together just go ahead with purchase or whatever you are doing because it doesn't mean that this engine 5.4 liter 3 valve Triton is blown it's just that moisture in it and let's just continue with every single vehicle we have here let's go and look at this pile of German engineering I don't want to offend anybody but these things all of us fail let's go look on this engine and its moisture in the same environment Northern California what do we have today April 13 I don't like that number 13 okay let me block that Sun so our video is nice and clean without some contrasts oopsie doopsie so unless I'm crazy and I stick around the blown engines as you can see that moisture is here the moisture is around us every single engine we open has actually some moisture on this highest spot in the engine which is accumulating there so I wanted to finish that story with you because I listened to your opinions and experiences and I didn't want to let you hanging and tell you also what I experience here so thank you for watching and be subscribed I have way more coming your way soon I will catch you later my friend